Hi, my name is John Whitehead and welcome to this week's video blog post. Some time ago, I came across uh, a parable, a first North American First Nations parable that is pretty powerful. And some of you may have heard it before, but let me just read it for you. One evening, an old Cherokee Indian told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside people. He said, my son, the battle is between two wolves inside us. One is evil, it is anger, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, false pride, superiority, and ego. The other is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandfather, which wolf wins? The grandfather replied, the one you feed. I think Buddha said something very similar when he said, all that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything what we think we become. Now this came to my mind as uh, I was thinking about a client I was just currently uh, working with recently. And as I find with a lot of clients, one of the things um, that I realized that many of them have not done recently, if at all, is take a look at what their personal values are. And for somebody in a leadership role, especially if they're taking on a leadership role, that is incredibly important to have a good sense of where your values lie, because that's what actually drives you. That's what helps you be who you are. And so I put my clients through a process which allows them to get a good sense of what their values are. But not only that, what do those values mean to them? How do those values relate to how they communicate with others? How they, uh, quite frankly, do something as simply as follow up on their tasks? What are those things that are important to them? And knowing that is really all about this continuous journey of self-awareness. What, where are you focusing? What do your values tell you about where you focus? And do your values actually, are they aligned with the place in which you are working in your workplace? And they are aligned with the organization you're with. So taking a look and actually doing some work on the values, not just saying, oh yeah, my values are honesty, family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Not just that, but what does it actually mean? How does that fit into your calendar? How do those values fit in to your per overall well-being? How do those values fit in with how you communicate? Something to really think about, isn't it? It's not just, oh, you know, rhyming off a set of values, but really trying to figure out what those actually mean to you. If family is an important value, what's your time, uh, your work-life balance like? If family is a really important value, but you're stuck in a situation where you're putting so much into the work, what does it actually mean and what's that actually doing to you? What is the stress that's causing? How is that causing you to behave? So think about that for a second. When was the last time you did some work on your values? And what's the impact of those values on what you do on a daily day, day to day basis? If that's something you're interested in about, you want to learn more about that, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to explore those with you. And if you want, we can even do those ex that, that exercise together. Again, just leave a comment at the bottom of this video. If you've got a question, feel free to reach out to me as well. So until next time, thank you for watching this week's video and we'll talk to you again soon.